South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control has released some new information on respiratory illnesses and how our state is faring. With numbers still making South Carolina one of the highest infection rates in the country, News 19's Shelly Garzon tells us more about how you can stay safe. I do not think it's time for us to let our guard down yet. I think that all of us need to continue to be diligent about taking care of ourselves and our community and our friends and family by following those simple preventive measures. South Carolina is still ranked one of the highest states for flu cases in the country, according to the CDC. According to the state's Department of Health and Environmental Control, 433 people were hospitalized with the flu in the past week, but 19 people have died since flu season began. Most people who get flu and COVID aren't going to have to seek medical care, but those some people might. Those at highest risk for complications of COVID or the flu or RSV um, are people who are older, very young, pregnant women, and people who have other underlying medical conditions like heart disease or lung disease. According to DHEC, Richland, Lexington, Newberry, and Kershaw County all have high levels of influenza-like illnesses. Wash your hands cover your coughs and sneezes, wear a mask. If you're concerned or if you're going, say you're going to visit somebody who's high risk, you might want to wear a mask. Stay home and away from others when you're sick and by all means get your vaccinations and stay up to date. DHEC reports that since the beginning of flu season, there have been 117 outbreaks of the flu in schools across the state. Most of our schools, especially our elementary schools, nurses were doing surveillance for flu. We had a couple flu, uh, COVID. We had a couple students that had COVID and flu. According to Mac Adams, Richland 2 hasn't seen their peak time for respiratory illnesses yet. Traditionally in Richland 2, our peak for flu has been in February where we have the most cases. I'm not sure if that will hold true this year or not, but traditionally that's when our biggest outbreaks were. According to DHEC, there's one thing that's most important when you're feeling sick. Stay home if you get sick. And, and it's not just a, with a respiratory illness. Stay home if you're sick, if you're having a, a stomach bug. Um, so if you're sick, you need to stay home and away from others. Shelly Garzon, News 19, WLTX. And DHEC tells News 19 you should stay home as soon as you start experiencing symptoms to minimize the risk of spreading it to everybody around you.